that should work. And I don't want it splattering all over me. Oh, here we are. Here we go. I took it over. Let me put two drops, because I just put some stuff in there. Okay. Now, let's hook it up and do a couple trigger pulls on something. Like what? No, let's just use this two by four here. Okay. Oh, baby. Oh, that's a new noise to you, huh? If things go the way I want, and this finally ends up working, we were pretty well set. I'm glad I waited and kept checking the water levels. Otherwise, I would have been finishing this all up to find out that it wasn't going to work. Okay. Okay. So I'm kind of glad, in a way. I mean, this is a project that shouldn't have taken this long. I mean, you got to wait for shit to dry, sometimes a day, sometimes two days. But, uh, for the most part, how many of these do I have left in here for? I know. Oh, I better get some. I didn't have any. I had two. That's what that doesn't sound, right? Why does everything sound so damn sensual? What's that song by Michael? Got that feeling, sexual feeling, or whatever it was. Oh, I'm going crazy now. Huh? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. Okay. Yeah, so I got Take those all down and drop some oil in them. All right. I'm not going to do anything with this just yet. I don't even know if you're still going or if the battery's dead. But we're still going. All right, let's go out there and see how this is going to fit. Oh, I should bring something to hold this to that. Yeah. Uh, liquid nail. Oh, there's enough here, maybe. Let's, let's see what we come up with. I just wanted to raise it up a little bit off the block. And there's a reason for that, too. It's all to do with the fill. Or the drain. I want it to drain as low as I possibly can get it. However, it's a turn knob. So I either got to move the bucket back so I can turn it. Or raise the bucket. Or well, I'd rather have it centered. So I'd rather just raise the bucket. And now that we have whatever it is, that's not going to work. What's the matter with me? I'm getting worse by the minute here, guys. Yeah. Yeah, the stuff I don't like. I think it up here. Does that help any? It may. Right, hold on, guys. Take a second. Wait. Yeah. 
four or five gallons of water and the weight will help settle all this thing with all the glue and all that kind of shit. And it'll let me see if anything's going to leak. Now, I checked it prior to the drain. But I didn't check it after I put the drain in. Doesn't seem like it's leaking. But let's wait until we get some water in there and it has some pressure behind it. And we should be coming up to this to tell me where we're at pretty soon. Almost there. It should start coming up shortly. Here it comes. This is my water fill table, my gauge. I'd like to straighten that out. I probably will, but not until I know for sure everything's working. Now I know it's working enough to where I was able, I felt comfortable sealing everything off. See the water table? Yeah, you got almost a half a bucket in there. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. Okay. So anyway, once the top gets on it, the wire will come through this little slit right here. And this piece here uh, is going to be tied, reinforced, so I don't have to worry about it hanging. And that'll be a, a fill if I have to put any water in here. And I'm probably going to have to at first because I don't want the water that I start with to be the water that's going to be in there. I want to be able to drain it a couple of times. Hence the reason for the, the drain. Look at that water. Let's uh, start a vortex. I want to bring it up as high as I can without getting to that crack or that slit, the slice, the gouge, that spot. <laughs> We're almost there. This I'm not worried about too much only because it's going to be an inlet and whatever leaks out, if it leaks, is not that much. So I'm not going to concern myself with it. And this is showing full. Okay, another minute or so, if that. Okay, we're touching. We're touching. And a minute, it's going to be running into it. And it's starting to run into it. And in a second, we'll be up to that little knockout, cutout, drippage out. Okay, we're done off okay so the only drippage i'm seeing right now is just here which i expected naturally uh but for most part we seem to be okay all right all right yeah i can deal with that now as long as that holds we're going to be just fine because i'll be lifting that off cleaning it actually while it's there. I'm going to do that now. I don't know how well or long this is going to last. The battery, that is. Uh, I really don't know. Because? Because why, you ask? I don't know. Let's put this here. Let's put that there. Is that? Yeah, I guess you can see it okay. Let me get my sponge. I'm thinking probably two, maybe three times a year, I'm going to have to kind of just wipe this down a little bit with some cleaner or one of these sponge things with this rough edge, rough end on it. 
rough side. The droplets. Okay, now again, I'm sure it's going to take a while for them to realize that it's here. Whoa, we've got to do something with that too. Do you see that? It's all gathered from the drain. we got to do something with that. Yes, I do. I don't like that. So that's just going to cause problems. So what am I going to do? I'm going to make it bigger. Doesn't make a difference because it all depends on the, the height of which I put it. So I gotta pull that out of there. I'll probably pull that out of there when I pull this off here. Hold on a minute. Find it. Yeah. Okay. That's done. Now I want to go bigger than that, but I need that one. And I need to drill a hole. So I'm going to. I'll take you with me. She's over there chewing on her chewy. That'll last her just about all day. She likes it. Okay, now I gotta turn on the light because I have no room over there. I should make room over there and just move that microwave. Ah. You think? Let's just move this. I'll put it in the back. There's more room back there than there is here. 